My name is Henry Pearlberg. I'm the department chairperson of the Performing Arts in Wallingford Swarthmore School District. And along with my co-chairs of the Slick Fellowship and Grant Endowment, Ms. Jennifer Rogers and Mr. John Shankweiler, we are very pleased that you'll be able to be with us tonight for a most incredible display of talent, artistry, and dedication. Music and the arts allow us to express ourselves in creative and unique ways. Music and arts give power and voice to our students and community that otherwise would not be heard and music and arts help prepare our students for a lifetime of deep human experiences and community engagement. One of my favorite quotes, it's a quote I have in all of my email signatures, it's at the, uh, at the top of my banner over at the middle school, is from Plato. Music gives soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. And as you listen to tonight's program, you'll know exactly what this quote speaks to. Tonight, we'll be showcasing one of our most talented, dedicated, and hardworking musicians, Day Taylor. Day is a junior here at Strathaven High School, and he is presenting the third Slick Fellowship program this year as we're catching up on programs that were disruptive during the beginning and the height of the pandemic. In reading Day's extensive biography, you will see a person who is extremely dedicated to his craft and someone who is thoroughly engaged in the musical culture in Wallingford Swarthmore. I first met Day when he and his family moved into our schools when he entered the seventh grade. Day immediately made an impact on our music program and I've had the pleasure of watching him grow into an amazing musician as well as an incredible young adult. Day has not just prepared for this concert over the past three years, he has been dedicating himself to his music for almost his entire life. In addition, I would be very remiss in not recognizing Day's teachers, particularly his saxophone teachers for the past seven years from the United States Navy Band, chief musician Dana Boer, who you'll hear in the program tonight, but also Dave's family, his sister Kayla, and especially his parents, Sarah and Charlie. If we could have them stand up for just a few minutes. Goes. It takes a whole family and village to get our, get our children to where they are today. Lastly, before we get started, please, if you have not done so, silence your cell phones. And if you need to get up from your seats, please wait until between a piece or until intermission. Tonight's program is being live streamed as well as professionally recorded. So thank you very much for considering that. So without further ado, I would like to introduce our George Slick Fellow, Class of 2023, Dave Taylor.
as someone who's been teaching beginner musicians here for 39 <laughs> years, I didn't know that the saxophone sounded like that. <laughs> And that's just the first half of tonight's program by day. That's incredible. I know Dave like haters, but let's give him another round of applause. For <laughs> uh, one thing that I didn't tell Day as part of this fellowship program that he signed up for back when he was a freshman was that, you know, Dave's only in 11th grade this year. So during his senior year is called the fellowship year, and that is year. I hope I won't be here to remind him. But Mr. Pinatar and Mr. Shank, while they're pushing the piano backstage, um, I would love to know that Day gets a chance to share his musicianship on the saxophone with our elementary and middle school students. They have a chance to hear um, where they can go once they start playing, um, not just the saxophone, but any instrument to inspire them to keep learning and getting better, and then reach the stars like Day has tonight at some point when they get to high school. So I'll remind Day later tonight at the reception that I expect some more from him next year. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about the George Slick Endowment. Um, it was created to honor Dr. George Slick, who was the superintendent of schools here in Wallingford Swap from 1978 through 1996. He had a long tenure here. He was a gifted and dedicated educator and administrator. Dr. Slick helped all those concerned with our community to remember that they should seek to do what is in the best interest of the school district's young people, and that our children are both our special responsibility and our nation's future. Although Dr. Slick was deeply interested in all aspects of school life, both curricular and extracurricular, he was particularly interested in the visual and performing arts. The purpose of this endowment is not meant to champion one part of the school district's curriculum over another. Rather, its purpose to rec is to recognize the importance of the arts in a nation that aspires to greatness. And I had a chance, and I do this every year when it gets close to the fellowship recitals. I called Dr. Slick today. Um, he lives in Middletown, Pennsylvania, and he was unable to be here tonight. But he did ask me about Day and what he was doing tonight performing, and he wished them all the best. And. Um, it, unfortunately, Dr. Slick is not as mobile as he used to be, and he couldn't be here this evening. So um, he just wished Day the very best. He was so happy to hear that this program is thriving and, and uh, it's going to continue for many more years. The George Slick Fellowship supports not only students through providing performance opportunities, but also financially supports these programs through grants and other financial needs. The Slick Fellowship is supported through generous donations from members of our community. And you may have seen the signs when you walked in. If you're able to help us to continue this program for future students, uh, please consider making a donation. And, and you can simply buy, if you write a check and just send it in care of me to Stratford Middle School, I'll make sure it gets put into uh, the proper accounts for future slick fellowships and slick grants. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge the members of the Slick Fellowship Committee for their valuable time and expertise. Uh, from Stratford Middle School, Brad Hosbeck, who's our visual arts teacher there. And from Stratford High School, it's Kate Plows. Regina Ionello, Scott Rogers, Steve Fisher, Nick Pignataro, Kristen Dunning, John Shankweiler, Greg Hilden, and my fellow chairpersons are Jennifer Rogers and John Shankweiler. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> they are some of the most dedicated music and arts teachers that I have ever had the uh, pleasure of working with, and it, there is a considerable amount of time it takes not only working in the Slick Fellowship and, and, and looking at the uh, applications and listening to the music applications, but in developing this talent when the students walk through the doors of their classrooms. They're just incredible educators, and I'm so proud to be a part of this group of educators. I'd like to also acknowledge, and with deep appreciation, our Wallingford Swathmore School Board of Directors, our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Wagner Marseille, and our high school principal, uh, Dr. Greg Hilden, thank you for your continued and active support of music and art in our students' lives here in Wallingford, Swarthmore. So over the past month, the George Slick Committee had a very challenging task of reviewing eight fellowship applications for the class of 2024 and 12 fellowship and grant applications for the class of 2025. I, along with the rest of the committee, felt that these applications were of some of the highest caliber applications we've ever had to, had to review, and it was extremely difficult uh, knowing that when you're looking at, at the work that these students are producing, whether it's uh, visual art or music, that we're gonna have to make some really difficult decisions in choosing a fellowship and or grant winner from this huge, enormous portfolio of really wonderful art and music work. Um, but we did. At this time, I'd like to publicly recognize 
the students for submitting their applications for both the class of 2024 and the class of 2025. And if they're in the room, if Ms. Rogers, if you're here, there she is. And I think Mr. Shankway went backstage to help get ready for the second half. Um, we're gonna recognize if these students are in with us today, uh, please come up. Uh, we have a certificate for you, and if not, we'll make sure um, if they are not here this evening, they will uh, make sure they get their certificate in school uh, later this week. So we'd like to start with the class of 2024. Uh, for the students who applied and were not awarded the fellowship, we call this the honorable mention because the, the work was of the highest caliber. Um, and those students are Sonny Mao, CJ Chen, Kaylee Rieger, Aditi Hoppy, Joe Su, Leah Gonzalez Diaz, and Carolyn Eskenazi. So if any of those students are here, Congratulations, Kaylee. And as I said, it was a really, really difficult decision to make. Um, but our, we did order, award a fellowship for the class of 24 to an incredible musician on mallet percussion and other percussion instruments. Um, for the class of 2024, we're going to award the 2024 fellowship to Nathan Sevenwall. So Nathan, yeah. Sevenwall. Yeah. And now the class of 2025. So we had some catching up to do because of the pandemic. That's where we were doing two of them this year. Um, class of 25, honorable mention, Josie Tolson, Ellie Newsom, Cecily Heisey Terrell, Kaya Smith, Sophie Lin, Wendy Chen, Ella Debo Venatora, Lucy Debo Venatora, and Anya Aga. If any of those students are here tonight, please come on up. And if not, we'll just give you a round of applause in your absence. <laughs> This fellowship for 2025 that we are going to do a dual fellowship, which we've done a few times in the past. We have a visual art fellowship for Charlie Detweiler. Charlie, you here this evening? Yeah. Come on up, Charlie. <laughs> and we have a music fellowship for Sam Cinnamon. Sam, are you here this evening? Sam also applied for the fellowship grant, so Sam will also get a grant to also help with his with his music and art work. So congratulations to both Charlie and Sam for class of 2025. They'll do their fellowships in their junior year. They're, they are freshmen this year, so let's give them another round of applause. As we finish up after I speak here, we're going to give um, the orchestra a couple of minutes to get ready before we start our second half. But I do want to acknowledge a couple of people. I don't know if they're all here this evening, just to take a moment. Um, and one is our communications director. This may be the one event that she's not at, but she is incredible. Um, what she has done for the music department over the years that she's been employed in the school district, but particularly during the past couple of years during the pandemic, to communicate out to the school district, to share out through the social media. Uh, venues, but Mrs. Deidre Abraham's son has been absolutely fabulous to our music department. I want to thank Deidre for all the work that she has done for the school district, but particularly how she has helped us in the music department. She is at every, almost every event, not just musically, but artistically, um, athletically, it, during the school day. She is everywhere and she is absolutely fabulous. So let's thank Deidre for all of her work. And 
I, have, I cannot even go by without th thanking the person who's doing the live stream for us tonight. Ms. Kate Plows up there at her, behind her laptop computer. Um, when we realized at the end of last year, I, I, or actually it was last year, when we were not going to be able to do in-house and in-person uh, concerts, but we will still wanted to provide programs and have a remote audience, I didn't know where to go until I spoke with Kate. Um, Kate has quickly learned the digital world of art and graciously said, yeah, I can do this. And Kate, um, we first did a live stream of a, a, a music program that we did over at the Community Arts Center. And since then, she has said she would live stream all music events for last year and through this year. Kate, thank you so much for everything you've done. Um, this is my last public opportunity to, to speak, and I wanted to make sure I wanted to thank you for all the work you've done for the music department. I don't know what we would have done these past couple of years without your help, so thank you for sharing the good work of the music department. Art, but for making sure the George Slick Fellowship continued. Um, since 2019, Henry, John, uh, Mr. Schneiderwater, and I have worked to bring the Slick Fellowship forward um, after the loss of our, our dear colleague, Mr. Jack Hans. Um, little did we know we'd have to figure out how to do this during a pandemic. So Henry's been a great team member, and uh, this is his last fellowship because he is retiring in a few weeks. So I just wanted to acknowledge Henry for everything he's done for the Juan for Park Worship District. Thank you, Henry. Thank you so much. Um, the only reason I'm talking is I want to remind you, please stay at the end of the program. We have a little reception out in the lobby for Dave. Um, in just a couple minutes, we'll bring out the orchestra, and Dave will continue in the second half of the program. So thank you very much.
tonight. Um, I just wanted to, before I finish the program with my final piece, I just had a few people I wanted to thank um, and acknowledge. Uh, first of all, Dr. George e. Slick for his devotion to and support of the arts in the Walgreens Walkmore School District and for the foundation of the George e. Slick Fellowship and Grant. Um, I'm extremely grateful for this opportunity to perform and play. Mr. Henry Perlberg for being an incredibly dedicated music teacher and the director of the WSST music program, and for his support ever since I joined this district and for his help in preparing this recital. I am so glad that I have him as an organizer just right as he retired. I'm glad that I can catch him. <laughs> Mr. Nicholas Pinataro uh, for his ceaseless enthusiasm and for all the opportunities he's provided me, with, provided me with to help me become a better musician. I'd also like to thank him for conducting this recital, as well as for all of his hard work towards making it a reality. Thank you so much. All of the faculty, yeah. <laughs> and of course, all of the faculty and staff of the WSD Music Departments here uh, at SHMS and SHHS for their commitment to music education and for creating an environment in which musicians can thrive and grow. Uh, I'd like to thank Dr. Wagner Marseille, WSSD Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Greg Hilden, uh, SHHS Principal, and the WSSD Board of School Directors for the support and appreciation of the arts. Um, I'd like to thank my teacher, Chief Musician Dana Boer, for just being an incredible saxophone teacher who has taught me everything I know and for being so much more as well. He's been a mentor, a role model, and a great advisor in everything I do in music. And he came up here from DC to perform with me tonight, so I'm extremely grateful for him for that as well. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents uh, for all of their perpetual love, support, encouragement, and their commitment to helping me pursue my passion. Um, and I'd like to thank my dad, as a saxophonist himself, for introducing me to the saxophone and for sharing his passion for music with me. They have done so much for me over the course of my entire life, and especially for me in my course of my uh, you know, music journey. Um, and I am eternally grateful for everything they have done, and they continue to do.
this has been an outstanding uh, program tonight. So congratulations. And uh, for all the hard work and time you put in this, it's just incredible. It's so wonderful to hear such great musicianship tonight. So this is real. I won't make you hold this while you're playing. <laughs> <laughs>